Good morning, everybody. It's uh, about 20 minutes to 12 and just got done with the usual uh, gym, eating, kind of relaxing. Just got some uh, chicken breasts just finished cooking in the oven, so shower and shave time. And today, thanks to you guys picking, for those that uh, got involved, Martin DeCondre, Fogier will be my soap today. My razor, shave number four, I believe, on this blade is Gem Micromatic Open Comb. Probably gonna do two passes today and then uh, do some touch-ups. My aftershave, thanks to uh, Khan, gonna be Brute. He didn't give it to me, but uh, just mentioning it as a faux I said it gave me the idea, hey, let me try it with a faux see what I think. And my brush, one of my favorites. Uh, it's, it's either number one or number two. My horse hair is either number one or two, it's hard to decide. That's my Wisconsin Nathan Clark 24 millimeter Envy White Knot. We go ahead and start loading up. And I just want to take a moment to uh, thank some people. Um, there's too many to name, so I'll just uh, leave it as just, you know, the people that uh, in the groups yesterday, uh, there was a little bit of really one person creating some, you know, ugliness about my baptism or me posting about it, you know, that kind of stuff. And I just want to thank those that, you know, took the time to uh, say thank you, you know, just, you know congratulations, those that uh, had my back per se. Um, but also I know there's those that were silent too, but who also were supportive in their own right and their prayers probably. So I just want to thank you guys. Uh, it means a lot. And if I can remember, um, one gentleman had posted a comment on the video, but before I could read the comment, it showed up on my notifications. It was questioning, saying, you know, once again, tell me how baptism isn't your salvation. And unfortunately, I didn't, the comment's not there. So I couldn't really respond back to that individual. Um, I want to say, I can't remember his name, but it popped up real quick. But, uh, you know, there's a lot that, there's a lot that can be said. And I could go, you know, we could go on for hours debating, looking at it. Kill a lather. And... I have way overloaded that, by the way. With but, you know, there's some great resources out there to look up. Um, there's one, if I can remember to post a link for it, I will. I'll either do it in the... If I do it before... If I do it when I post the video, it'll be right down below. If I do it after the video is posted, I'll post it right away in the comments. But the bunch of uh, fellow wet shavers um, have a group called Five Guys in the Bible. They have their own YouTube channel. And they did a video entitled um, Baptism and Salvation, if I remember correctly, it was titled. And they do a very good job going into detail about why baptism isn't your salvation. And so I just check it out. I'll try to post the link. And obviously, you know, they give you Bible references. And that's what I really like is they don't just, oh, almost lost some good soap there. They don't just tell you their opinion. They back it up with verse. Look at this lather. Come on now. It's sick. I'm anxiously awaiting um, Scott uh, Ostermiller. Ostermiller, he uh, posted in his uh, th five things he wanted. I call that quits right there. Look at that. Uh, that he'd like to have in his den. He posted the uh, Fougier that I'm using right now as one of those that he would like to have. So I uh, sent him a sample. And I'm really excited to see what he thinks. But as for the baptism part, just real quick, I won't get into it deep because I said it gets too long and this, I want to be more at the shave too today. But uh, perfect example is the thief on the cross. He was never baptized. Yet, Jesus tells him, 
I'll see you, you know, up in heaven, basically. So, just kind of case in point there. This is still going on in Artisan April. MDC is an Artisan product to me. I think to most. They still make small batches. They make other soaps, things like that. So. Such an awesome performing soap. Got a little soap in my hand, I'm starting to get slippery. Wipe off the razor. One pass down. Now we'll do uh, an against the grain pass. Again, I wasn't thinking when I was loading too that I was only doing a two pass shave. I loaded uh, probably enough for a six, seven pass shave. This is a soap that, you know, I love. It obviously lathers fantastic. A lot goes a long way. But it's not a soap that I would recommend to a newbie. For the specific reason of, for the price point. You know, I love it. I got it. I'm, it will always be in my den. It's one of those soaps. But, if you're new, I would much rather see you, for your sake, and experience see so you go ahead and buy since this is with shipping between 65 75 bucks go buy four or five six soaps try out other things build your den up and then treat yourself just my percent just my opinion just to me it makes more sense versus Get into the hobby right away and going, oh, this is, I hear this is the best. Let me spend 75 bucks. And now you're stuck with a great product, but a limited den. Such a good shaver. I think I shied away from this one for a while because I thought it was going to be too aggressive. Let's see where we're at. Let's 
feels really nice. Nice hunk of lather, just gonna poke it around so I Alright, cold water rinse, here I come, that's a fantastic shave. And only because I want to show you how much soap I wasted. That was after that large amount I used for a touch-up. That's a ton of soap. I feel bad doing it. But it gives you an idea how awesome of a load that thing, that soap is. And I'm most likely done giving samples. I've given a decent number of samples out of it, but I really want to let the jar go, see how long it'll last on its own now. On to Brute. Calls it classic, because it is. I think there were us guys when we were younger and be like, I never want to wear that kind of stuff. Do a little bit more. Don't need to, but I wanna. And it's my shave. I get to do what I want. That and I really wanted to feel around. Tell you what, that shave, that razor, this Micromatic Ump and Comb, gives me as good, if not possibly even a better shave on two passes with what you saw, some minor, minor touch-ups than any of my DEs and any of my SE razors. To me, that's why this razor is awesome. I can't get enough of it. I'm really thinking that this one might uh, get a revamp once uh, Razor Emporium gets their uh, black iridium uh, fully tested out. Because this thing is just fantastic. I'd love to have something different with it, you know, a cool different style look to it. Uh, it'd be really cool if you could take do the handle in one color, head another. I don't think they can do that though. But uh, fantastic razor. I can't recommend this razor enough. Beautiful shave. You can see no nicks, no cuts, anything. So everybody, God bless. Check out the uh, video that I'll comment or post below uh, about uh, baptism and salvation. God bless everyone and I'll catch you tomorrow on Wednesday.